Hey guys, I am Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about object info using schema. This is part 1. Topics that we will cover up in this video are metadata in Salesforce, schema namespace and its important classes, describe as object result of schema namespace, getting metadata description of as object in Apex and some common methods of describe as object result class. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. Data within Salesforce refers to the actual information and records that business collect and manage. While dealing with different type of S objects in Salesforce, as a user what we actually store in it and what we actually manage in it is nothing but a data. Data represents the real time interaction, transaction and activities within the Salesforce environment. Metadata in Salesforce refers to the configurations, settings and definitions governing the platform's operation. Metadata includes information about custom objects, fields, workflows, processes, flows, page layouts, validation rules and other customization settings. So different types of settings that we do in our Salesforce, whether it is declaration of a custom object, defining different fields in it, defining validation rules for it, defining the data type for it, relating objects together, creating workflow rules, processes, flows. All these different types of customization settings that we do in Salesforce are actually nothing but metadata. Apex provides schema namespace containing classes and methods for metadata information. We will use this schema namespace and classes and methods of this schema namespace to get the metadata information of objects and fields. Namespace is actually nothing but collection of classes and to access any class belonging to a specific namespace we need to use the dot operator. Hence, to mention a class name, we use namespace dot class name. But you might be wondering that there are different types of classes that we have used till now without specifying any namespace to it. That is because all those classes belong to the default namespace of Salesforce. So whenever any namespace is not provided with a class name, Salesforce will look for that class in the default namespace itself. These are some important classes of schema namespace and we are going to use these classes in this and the coming videos to get the metadata information from the object and the fields. S object type class represents the metadata of S object or token of an S object. S object field represents the metadata or token of a field. Describe S object result class represents the description of S object metadata and describe field result class represents the description of field metadata. For example, if we want to know the metadata description of account object, we will call account dot s object type so that we get the token of account. And by calling the get describe method of the s object type class, we can get the description of the metadata of that corresponding s object. Now this description can be stored in describe s object result. So we will create an object of describe s object result class and that can hold the metadata description of any specific s object. Now these are some common methods of describe as object result class like get label, get name, is accessible, is custom, is mergeable, is queryable. Fields is a property of that corresponding class. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys and now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of object info using schema part 1. So in the theoretical part, we have discussed about schema and the schema namespace and some important classes of this namespace. Now let's see how we can get schema information of a specific object. Now to get the schema information of any specific object, we first need the name of that specific object. For example, if we want to know the schema information of account object, we will mention account and then we will get the type of this specific object by using s object type. So this will give the type of this specific object and then s object type class provides us a get describe method. So we can call this get describe method to get the metadata description of this specific object. Now the metadata description of any specific object can be hold in a class of the schema namespace. The class name is describe as object result. So we will simply create an object of schema 
dot describe as object result class. Let's name it as res. And now when we will execute this, this describe as object result object will hold the metadata description of account. Now describe as object result class provides us plenty of methods. Now due to the length of the video, I am not going to focus on all of them, but I am definitely going to show some of those methods. So let me use those methods here and then I will explain you the purpose of those methods. So here I have used few methods like get label, which will tell us the label of that specific object get name which will give us the api name of that specific object is accessible which will tell us true or false whether that object is accessible for the current logged in user is custom which will tell us true or false whether it is a custom object or not is mergeable will tell us true or false whether merge operation can be performed on this specific object or not and is queryable which will return true or false depending upon whether this object is queryable by the currently logged in user or not. So if I'm going to execute this, here you can clearly see the output of it. The label is account, API name is account, is accessible is true for the current logged in user. It is not a custom object, hence it is giving us false. Mergeable is true because we know we can perform merge operation on the account and queryable is true because it is queryable for the current logged in user. We can also use any standard or custom object over here. For example, let's use a custom object student and let's click on execute. And now you see it is showing the label as student, API name as student underscore underscore C is accessible true. Here is custom is also true. We cannot perform merge operation on student, hence is mergeable is returning false and is queryable is also returning true because the current logged in user can perform query on student object. There are some certain other methods as well which we can perform on the describe as object result. I will share the link of the documentation of this specific class so you can see all those methods and try to use them. Some other methods of this object we will discuss in the next video of course. There is one more property of this object that we can use to get a map of fields. Now we are going to discuss about fields in a separate video itself. But let me tell you that specific property, the property name is fields. So let me run that property over here. So here I will call res dot fields and execute. So here you can see the output is showing fields of student object, but it is not showing those individual fields. So with this property, you need to add one more method over here, get map. So we are calling the fields and then we are getting the map of the fields. And it will give us a map with key value pair of different fields of this specific object. So here you can see it is showing us all the fields of that specific object. Now we will discuss about this method and how to access individual fields and various other methods that we can perform on the fields that we get through this get map method, but definitely in a separate video. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.